welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be bringing you back a little bit behind the scenes of another party setup and as you can see right here behind me i have all my balloons set to go for install and but i want to tell you a little bit about it and also just let you know that this will be the theme is called little miss wonderful it's for a one-year-old birthday party and it's really girly the colors are beautiful you guys but um i have some that are regular balloons and some that happen to be uh, double stuffed and i will be showing you that so as you can see here i have different sizes i have um 11 inch and five inches only i'm not adding any bigger balloons because um the look of the garlands um you'll see what i mean but the colors this one is a rose gold chrome from qualitex both sizes and the one that you see right behind here that looks almost like a purple it's not a purple it's really a dusty rose that's the color name and the brand if um callison um that's another brand that i like to use as well and then behind me you have this almost like a nude color and a very pale pink so these are the ones that are double stuffed so in here there's a a blush qualitex balloon inside and a white balloon outside and for this one it's a callison pink um like a bright pink with white outside so those are the ones that are double stuff but let me show you really quick what i'm bringing so in here i bring all my extra balloons um for setup and this is what i want to show you guys so this is what the dusty rose looks like and it's very tricky because it looks like purple but eventually when it gets out in the sun it um goes into like a matted look and I will post a picture of the inspiration behind it right here. So that's the picture that basically um, the tones for the garlands. And um, it's a total of two six inch garlands and one six inch balloon column. And uh, for this setup, the lady wants to put the balloon column at the entrance of the house and two of the garlands welcoming the guests into her yard. So they're gonna be hanged on, um, on her gate which um so as you can see here i have single balloons that um clusters of balloons that i will be using this um lamp and i put some water balloons here as added weight to my lamp and um this is going to be the column that i will be building for the um for the entrance while my other garlands are already set to go just for install already they're all together with my little clusters um just so that i can hang it and the process can be a lot quicker um those are the ones that are going to be horizontal on the gate and as far as the balloons like i was mentioning to you guys so i have this um dusty rose and this is what i mean by double stuff do you see so this is a qualitex um blush inside a white balloon and a pink callison inside a white balloon okay so um these when you blow them up this is the look that you get this is the blush color and this right here is the pink color so as you get into the um the outdoors and it starts getting sun you can really see the colors through you know sometimes when you double stuff at first up close you don't see the color right away but once you like step back and look at the difference then you really can see how the blush differentiates from the pink tones and everything else so um these are the brands you guys what i was telling you so i'm using these are my five inches but they're from Qualitex and they're blush. It's the color, okay? And I am bringing um, my Callison's balloons. 
this is what it looks like. And these are the pinks that are inside of my white. And the reason why I didn't use like the pink straight on as opposed to like double stuffing it is because we wanted more muted tones and softer tones than like bright pinks. So um, this is what we're doing. And this one is called Standard Baby Pink. These are 12 inches. So depending on the brand of your balloons, they come in different sizes. Qualitex carries 11 inches and Callison carries 12 inches. So you gotta keep that in mind. My white balloons, they're just regular white balloons because they're only gonna be outside of my, um, my balloon so it doesn't have to be a, like a quality balloon um and they're always uh deflated a little bit because since it's gonna be outdoors i don't want them to pop i want them to you know if they need to expand that the balloon can last longer um and that's it you guys i'm bringing a bunch of extra um 260s because i attach my my clusters with 260s and any type of stretchy balloons that I can get and that's what I'm bringing so it shouldn't be that hard half of the stuff is already pre-made here so um I've always said to you guys like if you can like um pre prep your stuff it will become faster and easier for you to like the day of the setup so that you can like install something and I'm bringing my backpack. As you always know, I'm bringing all this stuff like my high shine, my inflators, my electric pump. I'm bringing my scissors, my glue dots, my hooks, just in case. I'm bringing all this stuff that I could potentially be needing for installing my garlands and my column. So it should be a fairly easy um, setup. It's not too windy outside, so I think it'll be okay but it is sunny so i'm hoping that the balloons can get some shade um also food for thought the the event starts at two and the customer wanted to come like really early in the morning um that's not how it works i know it's going to take me at least two hours to set up maybe less depending but i told her that um it's it's better if the setup is closer to the time of the event starting because if you have the balloons sitting there for a long time they're not too fresh you know what i mean like you want you want the balloons to be fresh for the guests to come in and see like everything and if they start popping and stuff like that which that's out of our controls unfortunately um you know i i think the closer to the event i always give myself about two hours prior and she understood that but it's good to know that I can always show up a little bit earlier if I need to. Um, and that's it for all of you guys that are asking, because I know there's going to be questions. Do you pick up your, your stand, right? This is a lamp, you guys, and it's not that expensive. I think this is like about $9, $10 by the time tax hits. And you can find these at Walmart. You can find them at Target. And um, I use these a lot and I work up the price of the lamp in the price of my whole setup so that if I don't come back to get it, you know, it's not, it's not hurting, it's not hurting me. <laughs> so if it was more of like a bigger structure, like a real, real stand, then those, yeah, I have to go pick them up. But it's not, you know, now, I mean, not to say that I don't want to recycle these. These, sometimes I've gone back, but it has to be worth it for me. So is it, if it's close, and near my location, I will go get them. Or sometimes the client themselves drop them off. Um, but yeah, if I don't have to worry about it because the price of this is already included. And that's it, you guys. So wish me good luck. Today should be beautiful. Oh, and one last thing. I want to show you guys another garland I did. It was more like me practicing my skills. <laughs> but I want to show you really quick. Look at this garland, you guys, behind me. Boop. <laughs> How cute are these? Oh, my God. I'm, like, in love with this type of setups. So, you know, listen, if you don't have anything in the works for yourself, practice. In your house, take pictures, market, 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 right? Because clients are visual, visual beings, so... 
the more they see something you can do, the more it's like, oh, you can do that. Can I, how much is that? And then you start selling. So um, sometimes it's hard to describe to a person what you can do without them seeing it. So my advice to you guys is try to make as many garlands as you can. Practice your technique. Take pictures. Use that for your portfolio. Market the heck out of it. And then the clients will be like this to you. So, um, but yeah, I, I'm so proud of this garland, you guys. I mean, it turned out so cute. It's a lot of work, not going to lie, because there's different, it's, it's very like, it's custom colors. It's like each color is double stuffed. Then you have to put it in a, a clear balloon and all that. So it was a lot of work to just do this smaller garland version, but you know, um, it's something that I can advertise and hopefully get more business. But yeah, so that's it for right now until I'll take a few videos and pictures of the setup so you guys get to see it. That's it.